So today we're talking about shoot tiger with bow. What the function is going is for that movement to help you understand how to develop your dalu to practice. Again, as I said in other videos, the dalu is not necessarily the actual technique for the uh, function of the movement. It teaches the basics of the movement and from there you experiment and learn the actual function and then you can tailor after understanding the function back to your dalu to understand how to perform the dalu in a way that expresses your understanding of the function. In um, the shoot tiger bow after the, the kick, you're going to end up in here. And it's a circular motions with the hands. Uh, in the beginning, when I learned the form from uh, Sifu's wife, Sumu, she taught me that one move. She compared it to thinking about uh, like a marble and a bow. And as the marble and the bow settles to the bottom because the diameter of the bow is smaller, the uh, marble speeds up at the end. So it goes slow and then it speeds up. And I like that. Um, idea and I practiced it like that for years without actually knowing the function of the move because I was taught that way like that slow big circles smaller like that and then one day Sifu saw me and he came up and he actually showed me the function of the move which I'll show you later but in the beginning, to learn in uh, the basic principle of the movement, it's uh, moving like this. But again, it's not just moving the hands like this. You want to use your waist rotation for uh, creating the circle of your arm movement. So going back again to that video of the staff and how the staff related to uh, uh, Guanping Tai Chi, I, I, sh I showed you that you know, the staff movement is like this. And as you're whipping the staff forward, you're circling your hip back. Circling the hip back creates the more momentum for going forward. In a similar way, doing shoot tiger with bow, the hip is going in an actual opposite direction of the hand, like that. Kind of like a hula hoop. If you think about the hula hoop, you're kind of like creating resistance against the hula hoop so that it, you can kind of keep contact with the, with the hula hoop and you're kind of like like that okay so again instead of like moving the hips so much you're just moving like this so again wiping the table exercise that i talked about in another video is an excellent way to achieve this in this position here the hip precedes the hand if the hand gets out to about one o'clock, because it's going in reverse direction. It's starting to come back with the hip and pull. As the hand gets to about seven o'clock position, you're starting to go forward again. So, this type of movement is called syncopated. So you're using syncopated motion to get the power of the motion. Again, if you watch it's a lot of hip movement for the power of the move. In the application that Sifu taught me and showed me, you have to understand that Sifu didn't teach application like you wouldn't like take a class, take one move and explain what the move was for. Sifu was much more like monkey. He liked to uh, play with people. And uh, if you're doing a move, Sifu would like to come over and just kind of 
do the move on you to kind of give you an idea of what the move was for. He would only show you like one or two times, so if you didn't pick it up, well, then that's too bad. But if you if you really were like me, a sponge ready to absorb information, just even doing it one time really made you understand what the move was for. And so he told me to put my hands up, and then he threw a punch like this, like a roundhouse punch. And then I came up to block it. He took my block and circle and just continue it in. So it was like basically coming in with a punch, the opponent touches you and tries to block, and you take the opponent's energy, deflect it, and continue in the circle. So it was circle in like that. So once I understood that, then I understood that the move should always end with a punch going in and it's coming around then using your waist, not the hands, not the arms, using your waist rotation to deflect and continue in for the punch. So that's what Shoot Tiger with bow is. It's a punch coming in, deflect, and again, you have to understand in the Dalu being the foundation and just the basics of a movement. That's not the only application for Shoot Tiger with bow but it's one application that Sifu showed. And from there, you can kind of understand the principle and you could use it in many other ways, not just like a punch, but to use your Fajing to uh, ward off the opponent. But basically, it's that circular motion, which is the basis of the Dalu form that is the most important. So you need to see that in the movement of the Shoot Tiger with bow. I hope that helps you understand the, the movement a little better and uh, experiment with it and see if you can kind of find your own understanding of that move. This is just me sharing my experience with Sifu to you and showing you a different way of looking at it. Thank you.